All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. Say this shit to y'all for years. Respectfully to the black Hebrew Israelites. What purpose do y'all serve, bro? Every time I see you niggas, y'all standing on street corners, dressed like superheroes and barbarians, just yelling at people. All y'all want to do is no shit? What purpose do that serve? Y'all don't got no money. Every time I see y'all, y'all on the corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't make no bread. Y'all contribute shit, but to cause con confusion and disruption amongst people. Y'all don't help nobody, bro. Dead ass. Bunch of fucking angry black men trying to find their way. Won't y'all go get a job, son? Huh? Won't y'all find a way to bring some money to your organization so y'all can help people? Only thing I see you niggas do is yell at people and insult people. Y'all don't contribute shit to society. Now, I mean, because you got spikes on your fucking wrist and you got a terminate cake. I'm supposed to listen to you, son? Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas look like a 70s street gang. That shit is nasty work, son. I can't stand you niggas respectfully. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. I just want to know shit. My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Get some money. Broke ass, angry niggas, man. I get on my nerves. Shalom. one. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on the and glory. Unto Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopeful like out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful like the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And um, what I want to get into real quick, you know, quick work, all right, just a low level scoffer, all right, and Jake, you know, the decades behind, you know, still talking about getting money. You know, calling brothers, you know, broke, you know, and they're just, you know, Jake, low self-image of themselves. You know, they just assume every Jake, you know, that's not doing typical nigga activities is, is, is broke. And, and niggas are broke, you know, in general. So it's like, you know, what is the nigga talking about? Okay. But one thing he did, he said, he said, you know, he we either out there sweating or we out there shivering in the cold. Well, that's a witness. You know, that the Lord has set up men, all right, to teach this word day and night. Okay? In season and out of season. So that's a that's a that's a good witness, man. <laughs> okay? So we'll take that and we'll be everything that a nigga call us, man. Okay, we're not here for a nigga approval. We're not here, all right, to be another outlet, all right, to aid nigga aid niggas in their failure, man. Okay, a nigga, you know, get some money and help people. A nigga just want handouts, man. Okay, the last thing Jake need is a handout. Jake needs repentance, man. And how does it repentance come? Through the preaching of the word. So let's just get a few precepts, you know. Like I said, it's a low-level clown. All right. And then he keeps speaking on knowledge. Well, what do the scriptures say about knowledge? Isaiah 5 and 13. Therefore, my people are going to captivity because they have no knowledge. And their honorable men are famished and their multitude to dried up with thirst. So we're in captivity based of what? No knowledge. Okay? <laughs> this is why we're in captivity because we fell away from the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, our power. Okay? Which made us powerless. Alright? In which we ended up in the hands of our enemy. <laughs> you see that? And then everyone that calls themselves a leader amongst our people, amongst black culture, they have no true knowledge, man. Okay? That, that's all you done figured out is that uh, we need to get some money. Okay? That's played out. Okay? There's plenty of Jake communities that was thriving. Guess what? Most of them are underwater now. Okay? Jake had their own economy. Jake had their own things going on. 
they're underwater now or they've been bombed. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay? And niggas individually got more money than ever, but their minds are gone. Okay? Their spirit is off. Okay? They're engulfed in sin. So let's read this in the NLT because he said his daughter can't eat no books. Well, guess what? It's going to come a time she ain't going to be eating nothing. All right? And it's going to be because of you. Okay? Isaiah 5 and 13. It says, so my people were going to exile far away because they do not know me. And then we are, are we not in exile now? All they want to know is no shit. Well, yeah, we know why we're here. Okay, we understand we need to repent. And we understand who we repent to and the standard that we're going back to, man. We understand these things now. Okay, we have the, the knowledge that's leading to salvation. <laughs> okay. Let's keep reading. It says, so my people will go into exile far away because they do not know me. We lost the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Oshai. Okay. Those who are great and honored will starve and the coming people will die of thirst. Okay. So that's coming. You see, these, uh, Jake is getting ready to starve out here, man. Jake is getting ready to catch hell, man. Now we see why. There's a Jacob's trouble written in prophecy, man. Okay? Because niggas do not learn. <laughs> okay? Niggas do not learn. You know? And he's my daughter can't eat no books. Well, guess what? You finna, you probably finna eat your daughter. You know? Yeah, you, just, you gotta go hard with Jake, man. Because cause Jake, you know, they, they, their mindset, Jake, like Elder Apostle Kabar say, Jake don't understand nothing but ass whooping, man. And the Lord finna whoop Jake ass out here, man, with these prophecies, man. Hosea 4 and 6, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay? And he kept saying, all they want to know is no stuff. Well, lack of knowledge is the reason we're destroyed. Family structure gone. Okay? Uh, 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 nigger culture, harlot culture, single parent culture, all these cultures that destroyed us as a nation. Okay? Uh, 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 cultures that infest you know us as a people we're infested with these deaf cultures and why is that because of a lack of knowledge okay it says because thou has rejected knowledge and we see he has openly rejected knowledge okay with that with that uh, with, with that basic ass played that played out ass solution by getting a job Okay, and getting some money like brothers don't work. How do you know these men don't work? Okay, because they're on the street corner a few hours out the week. So that they, 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 they equals up to these men don't work. <laughs> you know, he sounds like a, 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 Edo, a Edomite that, that, that a stereotype, Jay. That's what Esau used to tell us, man. Get a job. Okay. He, he sound like a <laughs> Edomite that, 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 that was stereotype brothers, man. Okay? It says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Okay? And we're finna see whole families of Jake, all right, be tormented in these times to come. Okay, and this knowledge of this book is everything because it's, <laughs> you go here, let's get this in James 1 and um, 21. It says, wherefore lay apart all filthiness or superfluity of naughtiness, okay, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. And see, Jake don't understand the destruction that's coming. Okay, and Jake mind is only caught up here. That's why Jake is talking about getting a job and some money, which is extremely low level. Like you know, like that's your that's your solution with all the things that's going on in the earth. You look at our people and you think getting a job and getting some money, okay, and what how much money are you gonna accumulate on the job to help a whole nation? Okay. Jake mind is, is gone, man. All right, Jake is operating on a very low frequency, but see in the barber in the barber shop, he's one of the deepest niggas there. Okay, he one of them niggas at the barber shop. He 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 has the deepest perspective at the barber shop. Okay, 
But you, when you try to apply that real time in these times, man, that that that, that holds no weight, man. Okay. And Jake finna get ready to take the C hip and get nuked. All right, Jake don't understand what lies ahead. Jake don't understand what's right around the corner, man. Jake only understand the the the, the simplicity, man. Okay. <laughs> so let's go here, man. You know, you know, we ain't gonna stay on Jake too long. This is Wisdom six and twenty. It says, therefore, the desire of wisdom, okay. Bring it to a kingdom. And Jake mindset ain't on rulership. Jake still talking about a job. Of course, we're going to have a job to maintain our situation. All right? Duh, nigga. All right? We know to have a job. Okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's simple. All right? It's, it's light work. <laughs> you see? But the, the, a job ain't going to bring us to a kingdom. A job ain't going to bring us to rulership. Okay? And the rulership is already laid out. We, we just have to wait for it. But that comes with knowledge, understanding the scriptures. Okay? Yahweh Shai, he's coming, all right, to take down these current rulerships to establish his rulership in the earth, man. And that's our people. See, Jake don't even understand the Messiah is his people. It's their people. Okay? <laughs> we have a king that's on his way to the earth. That's finna establish a kingdom. Alright? But we're being guided until he gets here by what? This wisdom, this knowledge. Okay? That's why he said, they, they hold, hold fast that which thou have. Hold fast to what? This wisdom, this knowledge. And when he comes, he's gonna give us what? Power, authority over the nations. That's why I say wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Okay? Because wisdom is preserving us. Until the kingdom is established and set up. Okay? It says, if your delight then, if your delight be then in thrones and skeptics, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. And the nigga is not thinking about rulership. Okay? A nigga mind doesn't go past a job and some FRN notes, man. Okay? Nigga mind don't go. To know, think about ruling anything, man. All right, and that's why a lot of Jakes are just here to be nuked. A lot of Jakes that's in America are here to be nuked, man. Okay, they, they was born just to be nuked. All right, and we and we can see why. <laughs> you know, see you on the other side, man. With that mindset, man. At least you know, he, hey, he repent before it's too late. So Lord will, you know, you brothers and you sisters edify to the next time I say shalom.